In this video, we're going to make a cover plate for a toilet. So that is the old button which I've removed. I've replaced that with a round electronic sensor. So we now need a plate making from something which isn't going to rust, so I'm going to use stainless steel. And I'm going to cut that to cover the hole which was left behind in the system lid by that. So this is a piece of scrap stainless steel. And what we're going to do is we're going to make that into a cover plate to cover that hole. So I'll just draw another line in there. I can only stainless dead against the square and I'm just going to draw in a line at the top there. You can see that it does have a bit of an eye spot on this side. So we're just going to file that down to the line at both sides and then we'll draw file that piece. So that's what we're aiming for. We just want to get it as square as possible. Obviously we're not making a Swiss watch, but we want it to look reasonably well. So again, I've got this edge that we've already filed tight up against the square. And I'm just gonna draw in a line at the top there. You can see that we've got a nice spot at this side and all that needs removing. And then it needs draw filing. So that's our piece so far. And I'm just gonna put a slight radius on each corner. So that's just taken all the rough corners off. The next thing we're gonna do is drill the hole in the center. And then once we've done that, we're gonna clean up all the edges using a finer file. And I've actually noticed that that is a bit damaged in the middle and hopefully that won't show. So I've just measured the centre of that and now we just need to centre punch it in the centre. To drill the hole, I've clamped the stainless down on a scrap piece of wood that is firmly clamped down so that it can't move. I would normally use a pillar drill but it is a lot easier doing it like this. And to do the cutting, I'm using that which is a 38mm tungsten carbide tipped hole saw and that is actually only a cheap make which I've just bought off eBay just to see if these are any good or not because it was incredibly cheap for what it is. Just going to start off by putting some lubricant or coolant on there and then I've got the drill in the slower speed and I've also put it on a torque setting of 20 just in case it does jam. You can see that that is quite warm already. Obviously, if you've got access to a laser cutter, jobs like this are a lot easier. So 
just release the clamps. And I'm just going to clean that up using a half round file. So that is basically the cover plate. We now just need to file that all the way around to remove any of the rough edges. So I'm now using a smoother file, that is quite fine. But we're gonna draw file the piece using that. I'm just going to get some wet and dry abrasive paper, which is 400 grit. I'm just going to wrap that around the file. And then we're going to do the final polish with that. We're now just going to give it a clean with some methylated spirits. And basically that is it. It has got a few dings in the stainless obviously because this was a piece of scrap but that is basically it we now just need to install that onto the toilet I've just cleaned the system lid with some methylated spirits so that is now going to fit on there like that the top of the lid isn't completely flat but for what it is I'm not actually going to go to the trouble of trying to bend that because I don't want to ruin it this toilet will actually be being replaced in a few months time when I get around to it. So I'm not going to spend a massive amount of time on this. So all we need to do now is take that, turn it over, and then we're going to use some double-sided tape. This is Mammoth tape from Everbuild, and it is incredibly sticky. And this is all that will be required to hold down this piece of Stainless. And then we just need to remove the protective film from the other sticky side. Then take that and see when we get it dead in the centre. And then push that down into position. I'm now going to attempt to put a little bit of a curve on that piece and that should make it sit a little bit better. I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work but we will try it. So I'm using a piece of strong steel pipe there at the back of the vise and then two blocks of wood. And vices like this are very powerful but it's just a little bit tricky bending doing it this way. So I've now got it roughly where I want it and I think that I've got everything pretty much parallel. 
So now when I tighten the vise up, that should push these two pieces that way, it should bend it slightly around the steel pipe. So that is the top view. I'm now just going to tighten the vise up and that should bend the plate slightly around the steel pipe. See that we've got a bit of a bend in that now. You can see that that is just sitting better now on the top. We're not going to get it perfect because we haven't got the right equipment for bending it. Yeah, I just need to refit that in the center of there. So we can now go and fit this back onto the toilet.